They called it a key moment in world transport history. At a ceremony in Las Vegas on May the 5th, Brian Sandoval, the governor of Nevada, handed over the world's first license plate for a self-driving truck to drive on public roads. Freightliner, part of Germany's Daimler Trucks, then took the Inspiration truck to the spectacular Hoover Dam and showed it off to reporters. But is the idea of a self-driving truck more than a desert mirage? The next day I took a trip in one to find out more. But before I climbed aboard, a top Daimler executive reassured me I wouldn't be entirely in the hands of robots. There is still a driver sitting in the driver's seat. The difference is that uh, while driving, he hands over the simple tasks of driving to the machine itself. He lets go of the steering wheel, he lets go of the, of the accelerator paddle, he lets go of the brake paddle and basically hands these things, these functions over to the truck. The truck does that as long as he's able to do so. That was why Christian Urban, a development engineer for Daimler, was driving normally as we moved off from a site on the edge of Las Vegas. It was only when the truck recognised it was on a road that it took over. Press the resume button for the cruise control and I'm driving autonomously right away. It was an eerie feeling watching the truck spotting and negotiating the bends in the road. So we will have a slight S curve right here so you can see it's going to follow the lane. The truck uses a system of cameras and three separate radars to follow the road ahead and look out for obstacles coming from the side. Then when the system knows it's going to do something complicated like making a turn that's better done by a human, it hands back control. Daimler says the system should take some of the strain off long distance truck drivers by giving them breaks from long hours of tedious concentration on straight roads. But unlike the fully autonomous vehicles that Google and some other companies are developing, they've kept an important role for drivers. When strong crosswinds catch the inspiration, an alarm sounds to tell Christian Urban to take back control. Incidents like that make it clear that the inspiration is not quite the revolution the hype might have suggested. Daimler argues it's an evolution from current systems that warn drivers when they're leaving their lane. That's given Daimler hope the technology might soon be approved by states other than sparsely populated Nevada. That process is going to take a while. The company expects it to be at least five years before it has the inspiration on sale to commercial truckers. For the foreseeable future, however, it's not going to be possible to see a tractor trailer driving autonomously on a public road anywhere other than Nevada. Robert Wright. Financial Times, Las Vegas.